Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Now, this book review is for Under a Veiled Moon by Karen Arden. Now, when I went to look at this book on Goodreads, I discovered that it is book number two in the Inspector Coravan series. So I went to, I don't know, I think I went to uh, Libby and I was able to get book one, which is Down a Dark River. So for the sake of uh, getting you familiar with this uh, book, I'm primarily trying to review, we will talk about Down a Dark River for just a few moments. Now, this was a, a good book. Now, I will tell you that when I listened to this book, it was a little hard for me to get into this first one, Down a Dark River. I think I'll throw that cover up. We have our character, okay? And it's 1878 London, which is the Victorian era. And we have our character, primary character, Michael Corvin. He is an SI, a senior inspector, who was called to the case of the crime that existed at that time. My only apprehension was just getting used to the narrator in this book. Beyond, beyond that, the book was, once I got comfortable with the narrator style, I was completely, completely pulled in. Now, what we have here, our first murder, first murder is that there's a young woman whose body was found on a boat. Well, it doesn't take Michael long at all to realize that she didn't, she wasn't killed on the boat. Her body was left on the boat. Now, um, meanwhile, Michael was already on a case, but now he focused, he signs that case to his colleague and he focuses on this newest victim. While Michael is working on the newest victims, we start to learn a lot about Michael. And this is why I'm so glad that I read Down a Dark River before I read Under a Veiled Moon. Because we learn so much. I kind of get chills even because that's how much I respect Michael as a character. We learn so much about Michael. We learned that he was left as a t young teen. He was uh, left orphan. We learned what family took him in. We learn about a great loss that he experienced in his life. We learn about how much trouble he got into as a young boxer in those younger years. But then we learn how he turned his life around and now he's a chief inspector. All of that I got from reading this first book in the series, Down a Dark River. Now, of course, a good writer is going to give you a quick summary about the the uh, protagonist's past if they're writing successive books in the series. But there was so much to learn about Michael that I remember that narration that I wasn't 100% fond of at first. Oh my goodness, after maybe 5 or 10%, I was pulled in. And I'm so glad I had it as an audiobook because I was able to listen to it and learn about Michael and learn about how much attention he gave to the victims and how much he cared about justice, even though he had a murky past of his own. And that is all I'm going to say about Down a Dark River. It's not a review title. It's just one that I definitely felt I should read before uh, we do th this one here, which now I'm going to pop up the book cover, which is Under a Veiled Moon. This is the one that's for blog tour on the 16th. Now, this book came out in October, but I so I have no idea why it's being assigned to us bloggers here in December. So therefore, I will try to edit this book video book review video and get it up there. Uh get it up here on this channel. So, when we get to the second book in the series, by now I would say, yeah, please go and read book one. You won't, it won't be a waste of your time. It's a great story. And this one here is a great story as well. In fact, both of these stories were so good, despite me having to familiarize with that narrator, that they're both going to get five stars. But there's more. Because I noticed that the release date was in October, and I didn't read this book until the first week of this month, December, I went back to Libby. And I was able to get book number two as an audiobook. So right there, you had me. 
I like series. I like coming in on the ground floor of a new series. And I love audiobooks. And you put all that together and you and you have me you, you have me pulled in and that's what happened with this particular book. So, what happened with this one under a failed moon? Now it is 1878 and we have a tragedy. What is that tragedy? Well, we have a ship called the Princess Allen carrying how many thousand? 600 passengers. And according to the blurb, only 130 survive. Remember, it's 1878 London. So this was at that time, one of the most costly or worst maritime disasters. Now, what is Michael's role in this? Because it's a maritime event. What makes this book so important or this maritime disaster so important that Michael gets pulled in? Well, Michael starts to see that there was something very, very wrong with what happened with that ship. And he may be a murder inspector, but now he is going a bit deeper. He's going deeper because the loss of life was amazing, was awful. And when I was listening to this book, I kind of picture people waiting by the shoreline to see if their loved one would be rescued alive, would be found at all, or would be never found at all. And that's what was happening in this book. Then this book took on a different flavor. And it involved race or prejudice because it looked as if the Irish Republican Brotherhood was responsible for that disaster, for that luxury boat. And that is very, very intriguing because I know about gangs in America, but corporations or agencies or gangs, for lack of a better word, over an island, I don't know anything about that. Well, that's what comes up in this book. But then you have the fact that Michael is Irish and he was raised by an Irish family, Mama Doyle, who after he lost his own family. So what is going on with the possibility that this Irish Republican Brotherhood was responsible for that disaster? And that's only part of what's worrying Michael. The other part of it is Colin, the youngest Doyle. He's joined a gang. And I just mentioned, I don't know a lot about gangs, but now Colin is in trouble. And Michael is trying to pull Colin out of trouble and get him back on the right path. That was very, very intriguing. So Michael is working on trying to figure out who's responsible for that disaster. But on the other side, he's also trying to save young Colin. Does Colin want saving? Well, you're going to find out whether or not Colin wants saving. Now, one thing I loved about this book, especially in book one, is uh, M Mama Doyle and Mother Doyle, the, the lady that raised him. In the first book, she got another youngster, but he, she felt he needed more. His name was Harry. So she asked Michael to take Harry in. So that's what he did in book one. Harry's pursuing, he wants to be a doctor, even though he's a young teenager. So we see Harry again in this book, in book two. But we also see Belinda. Belinda is Michael's other half, the woman he is involved with. We saw her in book one, and now we get to see her again in book two. And I, I love the way this was told, told. I never read Karen Auden before, never. And I'm telling you, I don't even know who the publisher is. Does it tell me? This was a new author uh, in um, still looking for the publisher. Oh, Crooked Lane Books. If I hadn't been requested to do this as a book review or a blog tour, I think I, it would have slipped right through my fingers. It was, I don't, I'm trying to do a, a gesture, but it would have slipped right through my fingers. But not only did I get to read Under a Veiled Moon, which was a great book, but I also read Down a Dark River, 
which was a great book. And as mentioned, they're both going to get five stars. I know I went on and on a little bit, but I, I had to stop the video a couple of times. But I just wanted to show you how enthusiastic I am about these books and the fact that they were both available at my library. And therefore, if you have Libby or Overdrive or Hoopla or Scribd or Audible for that matter, don't let this book, these books let you go because uh, bypass you because you won't be disappointed. Alrighty, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.